Hi guys and welcome back. I have decided to create this kind of everyday, really simple but really effective, kind of still glam because it's got a lash and everything but I just think it's so easy to do and I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. So I hope you learn something along the way and let's get into it. So I'll moisturise the face before going in and doing my eyes and everything so that it kind of has time to soak into the skin. The moisturiser I like to use for this is the Embryolease Cream Concentrate. You'll have seen a lot of makeup artists using this and just rub that in all over the face. I've am yet to find a foundation that this doesn't work under. I think that it looks nice under every single foundation. The eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And you can tell which shade I'm going to use is just this one here. It's well used by me. Um, it's called Summer Yum and it's kind of a, it's a warm brown but with a red undertone. And I feel like for day to day makeup, like what I'm going to do today, um, it's the perfect, it's the perfect kind of shade for in the crease. So I'm going to go in with this and I know this is really annoying because I'm going to use two palettes but I'm going to go in with the Tarte Man Eater palette as well. First thing I'm going to do is to prime my eyes and to do that I'm going to go in with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So this is very neutral and it just kind of cancels out everything on the eyes. Just take that a light layer across my eyelids. This base is like, like you'll see it just covers everything up and it does a good job. I'm going to go into that shade from the Too Faced palette, the Summer Yum. So I'm just going to literally coat my brush, just lifting my eyebrows up so that I can kind of position where my crease is and just swirling that into this area. First of all I'm kind of patting on, so I'm patting here and then I'm going to swirls and then windscreen. So I'm not being precise with this at all, just using it as an initial colour in the crease. So once you've got a light layer of that on I'm just going to take a bronzer to kind of smoke it out. I love this bronzer, it's really good on pale skin and you can also build it up with dark skin tones. Take that and smoke the edges out. So all we've done so far is put that Summer Young colour in the crease, not being precise about it, and then taking this, just using a large blending brush, and then taking this bronzer, any bronzer you want, and smoking over the edges. So I'm going to go in with the kind of fudgy colour there in the Manator palette and just start patting that onto the outer corners of the eye. Start blending that just into the crease. I'm literally going to leave it at that and don't worry about any fallout or anything that you've got in your face. And I'm just going to take that first shade that I ended up, that I blended all over my eyes to set the base. I'm just going to pick a wee bit of that up on the brush and I'm just going to pat that directly onto my lid. Okay, so on the face. So for the face, I'm going to use the Maybelline. Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation and it looks like this. So this is one of my favourite drugstore foundations, love this for every skin type. I'd probably say that if you're too dry I'd maybe try mix it in with some sort of dew drops or something um, but really really good overall um, for the price of it. For my foundation I use a Morphe M4 Nine. This is just kind of flat top foundation brush but it allows you to kind of push the product in like the same as you would with a beauty blender but it's just kind of, it's quicker I would say. Just going to start pack, packing this onto the face. I 
and as you'll see it's it's giving me coverage instantly but it's not it's not super thick to the extent where you think oh like it's just it's too much on my face and I love a full coverage Yeah, again, being careful around my eyebrows if you put anything in them. I pick up the excess product on my hand with a Morphe sponge and just kind of push that into the skin. So next up is concealer. And the concealer I'm going to use is the Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer so this is in the shade swan it's pretty pale but we can make it work so this is like a huge applicator so you don't need a lot so i'm just gonna apply a wee bit just right into the corners mm -hmm. up the bridge of the nose Tip the nose and Cupid's bow and chin so that you look like an absolute idiot. Just taking the same sponge to blend this all in. You'll see how quickly that blends. And this sponge is good because you can get it right up under the eye like that. Roughly doing it with a brush and then blending it in with the sponge. So after that you're going to want to go in with powder and the powder that I am going to use to set all this is the MAC Studio Fix. I'm sure this is a foundation, like a powder foundation, but this is the shade NC20. I'm going to use that to just set everything. So I'm just going to use my wee powder puff and pick up the product and just start pressing into the face. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to smoke under the eye. So I'm just going to go in with that Summer Yum shade, just using a wee shader brush again. So you're basically doing the same on the bottom as what you were doing on the top. So I'm just going to take a wee bit of bronzer on a smaller blending brush, so this is a 224. So you tap off the excess and just go under. I'm going to take a white and just wipe any excess foundation off my lips. Right, so I'm going to go in with two bronzers. I'm going to go in with first the one that we've been using for eyeshadow and also the Too Faced uh, Milk Chocolate Soleil. So the first one I'm going to go in with is the MAC one and I'm going to go in with a Morphe R2 brush. So this is great for kind of bronzing the face up. And this literally just, I love the mineral skin finishes from MAC because they just blend into the skin so easily. And we're just taking that upper cheeks just to bring a wee bit of life back. Hitting the tip of the nose and just roughly down the sides as well. under the chin and then your forehead as well so you're basically going the perimeters of the face and that just gives such a nice kind of bronzed effect and makes you look a wee bit more alive so I'm just going to use this as a bit of a 
not really a contour because it's not that dark but I'm going to take it on a Smith 112 brush and just kind of place it under my cheekbones that I don't have and just blend it in a wee bit and it just creates the illusion of cheekbones just going down along the sides of the nose with this as well I'm going to go in with my highlighter so I'm going to use MAC Whisper of Guilt this is a really really beautiful gold highlighter it's, it's quite a pale gold it's not like a green gold and just hit the high points of the face so I'm going to go up the cheekbones along the bridge of the nose tip of the nose cupid's bow anywhere that you want to put it So I'm going to go in with a nude eyeliner into the waterline just to open everything up and keep everything bright. So I'm going to apply a wee bit of mascara and then pop some lashes on. I'm using the Paradise Ecstatic L'Oreal Mascara. Um, I literally just got this the other day but it's so good. If you like thick lashes, then this is fab. So the lashes that I'm going to use are the Tatty Lashes in TL3. So I'm just going to cut them down to size and pop them on. So I'm just going to go off camera, put the lashes on, and then I'm going to pop back and do the lips. Right, so lashes are stuck on. I'm just going to pop a wee bit of the NYX Tinted Brown Mascara onto my eyebrows. I don't ever put anything in my eyebrows because I think it's a wee bit too much. I, I, I feel as if eyebrows are out. I hate big block eyebrows now. Freak me out. Okay, so for lips, I'm just going to go for a nude and I'm just going to use the Fatty M Lip Liner in Toast. So I'm just going to eye overline my lips. So you'll. So I start at the bottom lip. And just do that in a winner. And I'm just basically following my bottom lip lip line. For the top, you're going to want to, if you're overlining your lips, you're going to want to overline just the wee top part, just at the cupid's bow, and then follow the lip line round. So over, over, and you'll look like that. And then, see? So for lipstick, I'm going to go in with one of my faves and it's MAC Peach Stop. This is a really, really light peachy nude. So. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope that you learned something new and I will see you in the next one. Bye!